I'm excited. This is like better than I expected. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing this Vidoka Mini LCD Video Projector. Jumping right in, the first things you'll see here is they advertise very proudly 24-7 live chat support. Um, you can call, you can email, or visit their website where you can message with them. There are no stats on the outside of this projector, so you don't know exactly what you're getting, but let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so the funny thing is, is this shipped in this same box. They didn't put this box inside of another box. And here is our case. Nice heather gray. Feels like some quality fabric. Got a carrying handle on it. the zipper gets caught on the corner. We open it up and in this we have a pocket on the top with our quick start guide and our uh, manual, user manual. Oh look, look at that. Warranty card as well. All the description and rules and things like that. So now we got some Velcro holding down the projector itself. Keep it nice, safe and secure. This has some padded walls all the way around to keep it safe as well. So to discard the bag. There is our projector. So there's the projector. Let's see what else comes in here. We have an HDMI cable a remote, the power cable, and a uh, headphone to VGA adapter. I'm not sure how we will use that, but it is there. Alright, let's go ahead and start setting this guy up. So it does have a spot here for a, what would you call that, a quarter twenty screw. You have two of those, one's for a foot or one's for a tripod, it looks like. Um, there is no foot in the box. Uh, that would have been nice, so it just kind of sits level on a surface. You'll have to prop it up yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in our power over here. There we go a real tight connection. So the first thing I'm noticing is the cord on this is not very long at all. We're at maybe five feet. So it will have to be fairly close to our power source where it is a projector. I imagined it would have been longer, but there we go. We have a red light that just turned green. Let's see, take our lens cap off maybe and Assuming that's our power button. The quick start guide will probably be our friend here. The light is flashing green and red. Oh, there we go. All right, yeah, that, that's close. Let's go ahead and move this away. To get this where we need, it does need to be 1.5 meters away, or 1.3 meters, which is 4.3 feet at least. So let's go ahead and back up here. We'll start figuring this out, huh? All right, so I have just powered it on. I haven't really done anything. I took off the lens cap. This is what you see first. Um, for starters, this is a fully lit room. I have window open. It is, the sun isn't up, but it is daylight outside. All the lights are on in this room, and you can see that. This is why I picked this one, is because of how bright it really is. So, um, it does have two adjustments right here. This is the focus. Um, I've actually put it on a little mini tripod so I can get it up off of the table. Um, you can also use just the box here. And I noticed you can even pull out this Velcro section in the box. And then now it'll sit at an angle pointing up. And to adjust your keystone, which is um, if you do this, like the top gets a little, gets off angle, 
That adjustment is right here on the back, this little switch here. So you'll just slide this left and right. Let me go ahead and demonstrate it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but you can see you can move one way or the other. Do you see that difference it's making? Or it makes the top wider and narrower. All right, and then this white strip you see is a, me a tape measure, um, and it says the minimum focus distance on this is 52 inches, which is where it's at right now. Uh, surprisingly enough, it's actually able to focus even closer than that. So let's bring it all the way in at our lowest one. So right there. So from the wall to the front of the lens is 44 inches. So it can focus within 44 inches. So one thing also to note is this fan is a noise. You can definitely hear it. Um, let's go ahead and grab our remote and you know what? This didn't come with batteries. You're gonna need two AAA batteries to open the remote. There's just a little notch here in the side of the remote. There's even a little ejection thing etched into it. Sounds like it's breaking, but it's not. You'll need two AAA batteries. And everything just kinda clicks back in place. And now, I believe the sensor to receive from our um, remote is right here, this little black square. So if I cover that, oh, maybe it's not. It's somewhere else on here, but it's working. So, let's go into our settings and see if we can set up uh, Wi-Fi on this guy. So one thing you may be wondering also, before we get into too many settings here, let's go back home. Uh, one thing you may be wondering is how big is it when we're at that 44 inch, um, what's it called? That full 44 inches away. So this is the smallest it can go while in focus. That is gonna give you a screen that is 39 inches, 39 inch screen. It looks kind of light in the picture here, but like to me, that's actually really good color um, and image. It looks much lighter on the camera than it is in person, just so you know. This is a darker corner, but it's not unlit. All right, and if you've been watching my previous videos, we're gonna incorporate our Roku Express here. So this is gonna be our perfect option for something like this. You can then connect it to Wi-Fi depending on where you are. My phone can broadcast Wi-Fi, and so we'll just connect this to like my phone's Wi-Fi, and then be able to stream Netflix, Hulu, or whatever movie we want to watch. This is definitely rear heavy, so I'm gonna try and bring all my cords over the front so it has some weight on it. Hey, it's on. So now, I'm gonna jump this guy over to HDMI, Look at that! And our Roku works. It's still set up for our home, so... <laughs> Look at that, you guys! I'm so excited. Now we can go to YouTube. Let's test out the volume on this, yeah? We're at 50% volume. Let's come on. Let's watch one of my videos, huh? So, my first one is actually going to be a really The volume is actually decent. Anywhere, it's it loud enough off of this role. guy alone that uh, you can get I'm going to actually Amazon. turn down the volume. You can still hear the fan, but it's loud enough to be over the fan. So this is one of my own videos. You can go back and compare the audio level of it against other things. Um, but if we bring volume all the way down here, now I'm talking over it. You can hear me just fine. But if we go all the way to max volume. Um, and you can actually get these today at your local Walmart. Um, We're starting to get some distortion of the audio at around 80%. Ago, uh, on our honeymoon. And she's been using them ever since. She never really had a cool, uh, a completely cordless pair of Bluetooth headphones. She had, like I said, an overhead. And then I think she had a pair that like ring around the back of your neck. So but she's never on had this guy. There we go. Tangled, things like that. that worked out so nice. And then the charging we can flip. Older version oh, we can mount it upside down. Look at that. Uh, micro USB, not USB C, but micro USB. Okay. Um, I wouldn't complain because, you know, most. Oh, look at that. And you can even rotate it. So if it's projecting it, through a screen, see, you can have it flipped it reversed. Look at that. That's cool. Board. So it does have a flip this option. Have Is it this one still pause, play? No. I don't know, maybe I'm just a little but Roku pauses. 
play. So I'd almost want to like tape these two together. <laughs> <laughs> just so you never lose them both. Um, this is perfect. This is this is working out so great. I'm excited. This is like better than I expected. So the number one reason I picked out this one is because of how bright it is advertised to be. And I can attest, we got windows open, we got lights on, and I'm watching this comfortably in this room on a wall. Like, so awesome. Um, this is not sponsored. I bought all of this stuff with my own money, so this is my own thing. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on some upgrades for this to make it a little bit more mobile friendly maybe. Um, but as you can see, this is our projector and Roku, so if you want to set up a TV and you don't have a spot for a TV or maybe, you know, this is a great option. I would recommend getting a tripod. Um, I'm just using the tiny little handheld one that comes with my GoPro, so it's not really rated to take this kind of weight. Um, I'd, re I'd, I'd recommend getting something with a pretty solid base on it. Um, that way it can spread out and support this well. That way you don't risk tipping over like that. Oh man, this has me so excited though. Look how well this worked out. This, this worked out, you guys. This is working out. Um, Let's go ahead and jump into stats and things on Amazon. So what, what, you, what to look for when you're shopping for it for yourself. Oh, you guys, as I'm putting everything away, look what I found. It's the foot, the foot that I said they didn't come with. So it screws in right here on the bottom in the front screw hole. We can just screw that guy right in there. And that'll give us our prop up angle so that we don't have to have a tripod. Look at that. Dang. That's, it was uh, underneath some of the things in the corner so I didn't notice it. So make sure you're looking for that. It does come with a little foot. And then when you go all the way down, it is level. Um, we're good. We're, we're so good. This is so great. Um, does, so I have an extra HDMI cable because my Roku came with an HDMI cable. Um, let's go ahead and throw this guy back in the box. Alright. Alright. Honestly, I'm probably not gonna use this Roku packaging anymore. I'm just gonna stuff all of my Roku and my power cords right in here so it's in one case. Oh, don't forget our remotes. Everything fits so nicely in there. Look at that. Has a carrying case and everything with a little bit of room, so I was able to fit my Roku Express with all of its accessories in there. All right, and so here is the projector. One of the reasons I picked this one out is because it's on a really good deal at the time I'm making this video. Hopefully I can get this out to you guys soon, but it's listed at $101.99, so $100, $102, whatever you want to call it, but $100 for this one. It is 8,000 lumens, it goes from 33 to 300 inch screen. Um, it says it is a native 1080p Wi-Fi support. I don't know what it's talking about with Wi-Fi support. I'm not seeing any of that. It does have Bluetooth support, so we should be able to connect maybe a Bluetooth speaker. We'll get another. We'll get one of those and try that in a future video. Um, it has the the one thing that really caught me and is like, okay, yes, I want to do this one is. It is a 8,000 lumen uh, laser, so it's super bright where we're in a fully lit room with windows open, all the lights on, and it worked. So uh, 8,000 lumens is good for a, a, a partially lit room, so if you can just close the blinds, turn off the lights, it'll look fantastic. Um, all right, let's go ahead and jump into Honey and take a look at our price history. So. Um, we're looking at $101 today, normally $169, let's see here, $169.99 is the normal price, um, sales go at $139, $129, but today, the best deal we've seen so far, $101.99, so uh, if this is still going on when, I was able, when I'm able to get this video out for you, this is a great one to get your hands on. It has a great look and style. I'm, I'm just super excited about this guy. This is gonna work out great for exactly what I want, which is gonna be going out and watching movies with friends, family, whatnot. Um, 
Let's go ahead and try and dig into some of those settings a little bit more, huh? Now I'm questioning myself. Okay, so I was actually sitting here about to ready to knock this guy because they claimed it had Wi-Fi and blah, 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 and it did. Turns out it does. Um, but it doesn't make sense how you get to it. I was thinking, oh, you go into your settings menu here, and then you can go there. No, 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 you have to go to your screen mirroring, and then you can do it from there. So let's go into our screen mirroring. It'll then show us this display here, Android, iOS. So you can just connect to those easily. Or, and, but first, you need to go into your settings and set up Wi-Fi. All right, now I got my Wi-Fi information plugged in and connected. Let's do an Android screen mirroring here. Find my smart view on my phone. Vidoka, start now. Connecting. Oh, this is a little slow. It says it's connecting. There we go. Hey, there it is. Oh, <laughs> wow. Let's go. YouTube, my videos, and let's start playing a video. Phones. Um, but this is my first pick and suggestion for you. It's something you can get today at Walmart or a lot of other places online. Um, skull candy there we go. Headphones. It's working Other from my phone screen device. mirroring. The Wi-Fi does work, but it's not actually, uh, it doesn't connect to other apps via Wi-Fi, so it doesn't have the Netflix or anything like that. Um, so my Roku Express is still needed here, but in a pinch, you can still connect any phone. So if somebody just wants to share what's on their phone at a work meeting, that's cool, huh? Um, you don't have to turn off all the lights in the uh, meeting to be able to use this guy and you can connect a phone and then just show people what you want them to see. There you go. That's uh, that's the Wi-Fi ability. One tip I do have when you are packing this guy away is make sure the lens is facing towards the handle. Otherwise it's going to be like this and the you can't stand it up on end. It'll be all tippy and wobbly. So put the lens towards the handle of it like that like that and because I have my Roku Express here this remote doesn't actually fit there so I actually just stick it right there in the front and here we go we're ready to party there you go one thing I do want to recommend though is uh, it does have that one little foot that I ended up finding in the end um, but um, I was using just a tiny little GoPro stand. I would recommend going on Amazon and getting just a cheap tripod. It doesn't have to be fantastic. With something like this, just a simple tripod that gets the feet out wider than this is, which is, you know, what, a foot by nine inches. Um, but it's, it's a square, so it's probably nine inches by nine, nine inches. So just a, a decent sized tripod, something you can set on top of a desk or set up in a room that it can be standalone on its own, I definitely recommend that. Or even if you're going outside, you can set it up somewhere and be able to project on like the side of a house or something like that. Um, so I, I definitely recommend getting something along those lines for this projector. Hey guys, I actually ended up messaging the seller on Amazon because I love this so much and I asked for a discount code for you. And in the description below is a discount code exclusively for the people who watched all the way to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you love this projector as much as I've loved it so far. Check out that link. I don't know how long that coupon code is gonna last and I don't know how much it's gonna end up being for, but there is a coupon code below the link below. There you go, guys. That is probably one of my more uh, disconjointed and disorganized videos I've done. This is literally me just unboxing and getting excited about something that I bought with my own money and I highly recommend it for you. Um, I was initially looking at ones in the 60 to $70 range and most of those were only 720p and they're not very bright and they're really just it kind of cheap. And this is a step above to say the least. It is a great quality. It's got two speakers on it so it can be loud enough that you can actually hear it over the fans and maybe even outdoors. We'll have to test that maybe one day. Um, but man, I am excited about this guy. I'll have a link down in the description below to where you can get this one for yourself as well on Amazon with no additional cost to you. So if you use those li this link or any of my other Amazon links below, that does help to support this channel so we can make 
continue making more videos like this. Um, and all of your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. If you like this video and I, you think I earned it, please give a thumbs up or even a subscribe if you'd like. And if you have recommendations or suggestions for future videos, you have questions on this device itself, please leave those in the comments below. I will do my best to answer every single one of those. And uh, if I missed anything, let me know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.